What's happening, everybody? We're back. It's me, resident supervillain, Mr. J. Washington. And it's Rocky Blurred with today, Marshall. And we are here for the episode 11 review of Harley Quinn on the DC Universe app. If you have not seen this episode yet, please come back because there will be spoilers. Yeah, pretty much that. That's, that's not. I mean, I said it. So yeah, that's one. Thing. Yeah, that's much People it. in the comments last time was like, I, "I get it, Jay. I understand why you feel like you feel." Like, yeah, because I don't want to have to. Keep it's not, but it's not for the. It's not for. It's the, for the oh, new it's folks. It's for the new folks. It's for the new folks, yeah. man. We I told y'all this. We told y'all last episode this shit was starting to get real from seeing now that Scarecrow has Ivy. So basically, you can you can come to the uh, assumption that the Legion of Doom is a part of this because I don't think Scarecrow would just be acting rogue. Taking Ivy, right? Knowing everything, what Luth, Lex Luthor wanted, and saying we mm -hmm. want you, and that more so shows that. But Harley and Frank end up at the plant, and uh, Harley sees all the guards. They're like, "We could do this." And Frank was like, basically like, "Bitch, no, we can't." What, what, what are you gonna do? You're, you're one, you're one small girl with, with a, a baseball bat. bat. What you, what you need? It's like, well, you know what we need? What more bat? Ha ha! <laughs> <laughs> no more body shit. Because the thing is, and again, I know before anybody tries to go, because a lot of this has been happening a lot with different shows and cartoons. When someone makes a critique on a woman's size. They feel it's a downing thing, but it's not in this case because it's an obvious observation. Well, especially from the standpoint that it's like what fifty goons with machine guns, and yes, her with a baseball. Because we see the old man walk up who was lost, and they shot this nigga to shit like it was I that have terribly him. lost. Is there anyone? <laughs> they, they shot. They shot this old ass man like they did Peter Weller in RoboCop. And they shot just, this old ass man the way they shot Uncle Ruckus in the in the uh, what, what what was it the, the, the Heat Wave episode? Yeah, where the cops say, "Gun," he's just holding his wallet, and just lit him up. Just, they shot his ass like, <laughs> like they shot up Ricky and Boys in the Hood. Like <laughs> Ricky, you remember when they shot? <laughs> 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 She goes back and she tries. She has to now try to convince the crew, and everybody's doing their own thing. Clayface is in an ad with the Riddler talking about a bomb, and he keeps giving the Riddler pointers. The Riddler's like, "Did you just give me a <laughs> fucking line reading? The bomb is at the fucking factory. I'm done. I'm done." And Harley goes, "Can I take Clayface? Yes, please. Don't just take him for a moment. Take him forever. Take him forever. <laughs> take him." And Clayface is like, yo, I kind of don't want to do it. You know what I'm saying? Whatever. Well, no, no, no. They, she, she is talking to Psycho, Clayface, and King Shark. They're kind of bouncing back and forth. And the funny part is King Shark is over here working at like the equivalent of he, Apple. And working. he's like, do you know your boss's password? And yes, I heard I, mean, you I am listening to you. Not, I, I am passively, listen. aggressively not responding. <laughs> But all the crew is like, no, nah, fuck it, Har Harley. We are not going to work with you until Frank comes on. It's not for her. It's for Ivy. Oh, shit, Ivy. Yeah, we got to save Ivy. We're going to do it. Then we never want to talk to your ass Frank, again. Well, Frank was like, what's wrong with you? You leave with your fucking, you put your fucking thesis statement at, at the, the beginning. beginning of your speech. Because <laughs> also, Dr. Dr. Psycho was doing mind readings. <laughs> he reads this one couple. He's like, yeah, blah, blah, blah. And he's banging his secretary. <laughs> 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 So the crew is together, and Sid's there with them too. Uh, Sid just was like, "Yo, I'm, I'm gonna help out." He got a car for them. They go in a pretzel truck. So they go to the plant, and they think they're gonna get shot the shit up. And all because they're, they're like, "We're here, pretzel truck." Who like you know people ordered a pretzel wrapped dogs. Like it, you know we're here for it. I mean, it, and they're like, "Nah, fuck it, shoot them up." And it's one more. Yes, <laughs> is that the pretzel wrapped dogs? Oh my god, I love these. Yeah, bring them in, bring them in, and then saves they ass. They go in, and all of a sudden, they just take out all the dudes, and they have a gr great idea of how to infiltrate the plant. These motherfuckers all put on the jumpsuits, okay? Now, in theory, that might work for two people. It didn't work for a single one. The only one it should have technically worked for is Clayface, Wait, because he can change his body, it's but this only nigga, of course, one. is walking around like Clayface. It looks like a halter top on the top of <laughs> You Hold got the top on him. She can barely see through the mask. Fucking psychos walking around without the arms and legs because he has to float himself. When King Shark is busted out of it and Sid has the whole fucking wheelchair. Over the whole wheelchair. And How, it's rolling. Can we explain? The, I understand this is a cartoon. And I get there are some things you're supposed to suspend your disbelief. How? I got nothing, bro. <laughs> I got absolutely nothing. Well, that's funny because they're walking, of course, in that slow motion, and of course, proceed to all fall on top of each other because they can't fit in these fucking outfits. And they realize this is not a good idea. So basically, we cut back. You know, we'll go back and forth telling you how the show goes. You go and you see Ivy, and you find out that Scarecrow is trying to make a fear toxin for her. And she's like, yo, poison doesn't work on me. He's like, that's why I took her DNA, so I can make it work on you. 
That was the most evil fucking voice. You think you're a supervillain, nigga? If they give me even a shot at any sort of voiceover supervillain, I'm gonna put the fear of God in children. I mean, I do that with my own children. That's what you're supposed to do. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> so my kids be like, Dad, yeah, I love my daddy. I love my daddy. Dad, dad. Yeah, and then I'll be like, yo, sit the fuck down. They be like. Jesus. Because you got to, look. I know. You, you got to have that line. Play. You know what I'm saying? Be, no, they can't play no games. They play no goddamn games. They play no motherfucking games. So they, they spray, they inject Ivy with this fear toxin, and she starts freaking the fuck. She's losing her <laughs> <laughs> Which we forgot the point that up front she almost escaped. She like the two guards are like she ain't got no there ain't no plans to worry. Wait, before like, she yeah. do that, she wakes up and sees one guard's ID. When she does, she takes it. No, wrap before, it before even does, don't worry. There's no plans here. And she goes, oh, oh, oh you're yeah. right. Wraps the thing and whatever. Two other guards walk in and goes, don't worry, she doesn't have anything what? but her hands. He's like, I have hands, nigga. And she's like, like she's nothing. just a weak woman. She's like, oh, I got hands. Bop, bop, and the Second Amendment, which I completely support with the but background checks with everything. And, and <laughs> so I love how, again, this show keeps doing that. Real life issues that we face in today's society are referenced in the show, and they're done in such a smart manner. They, they're done such, it's brilliant. It really is. It really is. So cut back to where we were. She's uh, hopped up on the fear toxin. They break into the facility. They the find crew. her. The crew breaks into the facility. They find her. And they're like, oh, shit, what's wrong with her? She is losing her shit. They're like, uh, Psycho reads her mind. The fear toxin's in her. She's losing no, it. No, before, before Clayface, he says, they've put the fear into poison ivy. Everybody look like, nigga, for real? Like, for real? And so the Harley figures out the best way to get into her, they need to get no, to her. He mind. said, they put, they poisoned Ivy. They poisoned, <laughs> they put the was. fear into her. They poisoned uh, Ivy. And everybody, like, I should have been waiting to say that for so long. <laughs> and so Dr. Psycho's like, yeah, we got to get in her head and see Which, what her. The funny thing is, Harley goes, all right, cool. Punches the <laughs> shit out of her and knocks her. He's like, why did you do this? No, and no, what? Dr. Psycho said, what the <laughs> fuck <laughs> She's like, well, when you did it to me, when you guys came in my head, you guys had to knock me out. I was like, no, bitch, you were already knocked out. <laughs> you just punched your friend in the face. <laughs> so Dr. Psycho, so they're like, okay, so what do we do? Because if we just go, our bodies will be out here. And Sid's like, yo, I got y'all. Don't worry about it. Clayface was like, the well, last time you tried to protect it, you almost put us in an oven. He was like, well, I could have did worse. Like, you understand how fucked up that is when somebody just nonchalantly goes. Yeah, Wah. I mean, the truth is, considering all the shit on his, like, cyborg wheelchair, he could have just chopped him up and with, like, a, and like, a, it a chainsaw date. and could have been done with it. Because it was a night out, in the sense, it was a date when he was almost about to do it. But so they go in, I, I mean, Ivy's head, and... They start seeing these things that she fears, and they're like, oh, this is her greatest fear is her father. Like a living wood chipper, and... Bro, this motherfucking tree died a horrible death. Oh, my God. And when the tree went in there, didn't, like, wood chunks, blood, blood and guts are shooting everywhere. Because, which makes sense, in Ivy's head, trees are living things, so she's not thinking of them as, like, wood and bark. She's like, they have organs But she also, I think, forgot who said it, was like, yo, I didn't know that was that much inside of a tree. Like, <laughs> make you look at trees all different, like, oh, my Jesus. <laughs> Oh, God. It's <laughs> I love how Dr. Psycho, to stop it, just throws Clayface into the thing. But because he's Clay, he jams up he the gears. He jams it up. But I was like, oh, my God, this thing is went rogue. I mean, let's be honest. Let's be honest, ladies and gentlemen. Let's look at you. Look at whoever you're watching this review with. Or look at your phone to your, your last text you received or your last call. If you had the opportunity to and they were made out of clay, would you push them in there? I mean, yeah. Okay, so there's no reason. Because well, I can't really die. Exactly. I would push the fuck out you. <laughs> Bro. Disrespectful. No, I'm not. Bro, you <laughs> understand. You ain't going to. You going to splat up you places and yeah. shit. Yeah. You better pick up every piece of me, goddammit. Mm -hmm. These are the pieces of me. I don't know why I started singing Lettucey. Anyway. <laughs> also, I thought you were about to do Ashley Simpson. I was like, oh, goddammit, don't do this. No, Remember but you were. That, that little hold down shit that yeah, she Yeah, but did? you were the nigga in the car when we went to the well, gym. Casey Musgraves, you think I give a fuck? She is talented. God damn it. On your high horse. That's you, nigga. You on your high horse. Always. You got seen enough, seen enough. Mm -hmm. Riding up into this town, you got to giddy up, giddy up. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Get off your high horse, nigga. Ha! Off your high horse. Uh, high horse, nigga. On that high horse, nigga. That high horse. So, what y'all know? We just had a full fucking musical <laughs> interlude <laughs> with Mr. Dave Marshall. <laughs> <laughs> 
I have little sections, little snippets. He just had a full interlude, okay? <laughs> anyway, they start, like, they end up getting Ivy after realizing that uh, Harley is Ivy's biggest fear. Well, they see the Grim Reaper. The Grim Reaper is fucking them up, throwing fireballs. Everything. All sorts of shit. Ivy turns Clayface into a bat, beats the shit out of the Grim <laughs> Reaper, takes the mask off, and it's and Harley. It's Harley. Uh, Harley. I'm sorry. Harley gets a bat, hits the Grim Reaper, pulls the mask off, it's Harley under the mask. And she doesn't understand why. So basically, they all end up going out. They solve a fear. And then they b- break Ivy free. And Harley is like, yo, can we talk about this shit? Ivy's like, not now. So then they see that Scarecrow and his crew have loaded up these fear toxins in these semi-trucks. And they drive off. And the, while they're driving off, the pretzel truck has been towed. So they don't have a car, right? They're like, what do we do? How do we get a car? And Sid was like, don't worry, I've got you. And this is what looks... Listen... In horror movies, it looks painful when a person turns into a werewolf the first time. It never looks like pleasant. Because somebody's always going, ah! ah! When you turn into a vampire, you're just like, oh, shit, I ain't sleepy no more. Like, but this thing, this thing is sick. He's the wor- He's like Turbo Team. Now, I don't know how many people remember Turbo Team from the 80s. I do not remember Turbo Team. But I, the, the reference that I'm thinking of, because uh, Rick and Morty probably did this. It's the, the, uh, the Rick, chip and, Rick, he and Morty. Rick and, he said, Morty, like, Morty, 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 I'm going to do this thing. You're going to turn into a car. It doesn't happen. And then the, the post credit scene just all of a sudden, God! Yeah! In the like, classroom. Kills, like three or four people. Because Morty was like, the fuck are you talking about? Sid, but the problem is Sid turns himself into a car, but he is tearing himself apart. Like, you see flesh there, and everybody's like, ah! 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 <laughs> this motherfucker turns into a station wagon. <laughs> oh god! What else did you expect the old Jewish man to turn into? But a station wagon. And so they're That's chasing. A great point. I don't. I don't know, dog. I don't know. Like I thought maybe he might be like some sort of Batmobile or something, which would be dope. But no, no, no. Grand, like a grandpa turned into a station. So they follow him onto Harley Quinn Highway, the name of the episode. And they're like, uh, where the fuck this come from? Well, the city let me build this when I threatened to nuke the city. I mean, it's pretty dope. Because then it ends up being, it looks like a like a uh, an F-Zero racetrack. Or like Man, a, it's so dope. A Mario like, Kart racetrack, uh, you know, like, something like that. It's got loops and shit, but here's the oh, problem. Oh, uh, your Hot Wheels? We be having a movie? The Hot Wheels yeah, track? Yeah, yeah, So at one point, Ivy, like, you know, saying, drugs, get me close to him. She grabs a plant. She ends up jumping on the hood, making vine shit grow, and she's doing it. And then Harley comes up side by side, and she's like, Ivy, yo, what's the deal with this? She was like, basically, you were my only friend, and I only asked you to do one thing, and you couldn't do it because you were too busy stuck on trying to make the Joker. You live your life based on what the Joker thinks of you. And you could just see the hurt in the cartoon at that moment. Like, yo, like the fact that you can feel emotion through the screen and animation, and you feel how hurt, and Harley is like, oh, shit, because it starts to hit her. Basically, now, you know, the whole thing happens. Uh, Ivy's truck is trying to go over the loop. She falls. Harley catches her, all this shit. But then, Harley's like, run over the weapons cache. This motherfucker drops down a rocket launcher. And Dr. Psycho was like, the tax dollars pay for this? So they still I love how it pretty much is Mario Kart. It's Mario Kart. You know? And so they get to the part where Harley has a giant statue of herself and is to blow out the last truck. And so she takes the grenade launch and was like, yo, Har- Ivy, listen, I'm a brand new person. It's not all about me. And shoots herself in the face as far as the statue. And the statue head drops and hits uh, Scarecrow's truck, which is the last one which they think is done. So happens it's not. Scarecrow ends up falling over and going into the park. Sid, they all looking like, this can't be good. Sid is trying to transform back. He like, somebody got some WD-40. <laughs> oh, it hurts with so much pain. And you, you have this, and then you see now the res- effects of having the fear toxin in the park. Like, people, this one dude is talking to a chick, and he was like, yo, I just told my wife, Barbara, we ain't going to be together. It's just going to be me and you. And the motherfucking monster tree just eats the bitch he's talking to. And he just said, Damn. Like, he really, I was like, I can't go back home. You know what I'm saying? I just, and then it's like, you see these monsters, trees attacking and eating people. Now, here's the thing I'm wondering. Is it real? Yes. A hundred percent. Because all the fear toxin did. uh, Oh, it made shit come to life. Yes. So what it's, what it's specific, not only made it come to life, because remember it has, it has uh, Ivy's Ivy's DNA, DNA, which allows for plants to grow. 
but obviously he's a chemist himself, so he took that fear toxin and was able to make them essentially monsters. So they didn't just grow, they grew into oh, so like it's a bunch of monsters. Okay, right. So a bunch of people really did die. Like Oh, they're very dead. <laughs> they're hella dead. And literally, that's how we end the episode. We told y'all for the past couple weeks, this show has been building and building, like I said in the beginning of this episode. And now we have another cliffhanger, how all this happens. What you know, what eventually happens with Harley and the Legion to do. So I kinda gotta guess. Okay. Again, I have. I'm gonna be honest. Here's the thing: I have not watched the thirteenth episode. Oh, you haven't? I have not. On purpose. Oh, I've seen all the way through. I okay. okay. Don't tell me if I'm right or wrong. Okay, I won't say. I believe after all of this is found out, Harley decides she doesn't want to be in the Legion. You can see that pretty much happening, and she just has her crew, and then we just wait for season two. Interesting. Yeah, I won't tell you what happens. Obviously, I want people to. I, I won't spoiler past this episode. Yeah, we're not gonna spoil. Like we're not gonna give y'all spoilers all the way. But it it gets. Very, very interesting. There's a lot of twists and turns. There's some character shit that you may or may not be ready for, y'all. So I just, I hope you are ready. That's all I will say. I'm going to hit with my sparkling water. That's fine. Uh, I got told I was bougie because I drink bubbly and sparkling water. But you, that. You, you did, basically. No, I didn't. Because you ain't shit. I never. I drink so much LaCroix. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? I, I'm, I, I'm sorry, he didn't call that. me bougie. He just tried to get on me because I was like, you drink nasty ass LaCroix. How dare you? What about your blackness? He's like, bitch, you drink bubbly. And I was like, don't be putting my shit Bubbly is Hella bougie. Honestly. And to be honest, I don't even drink LaCroix no more. Kristen got me on that shit. I be drinking the Kroger brand sparkling water and shit, my nigga. Let me tell you something. Yo, <laughs> sometimes them quote-unquote generic brands mm -hmm. be the best shit ever, the yo. The Kroger one's actually better than a lot of the LaCroix flavors. Listen, get yourself... Also, a lot of people have a hard time trying to drink water and always want to drink a pop. Yeah, I don't say soda. I don't know where the fuck y'all got that dumb shit from. Pop or juice. Or a Coke. In the <laughs> South, that's, that's called a Coke. Coke. Everything's a Coke. Everything's Coke. Get you a sparkling water. Mm -hmm. You get the, the taste. Yeah, uh, stop drinking so much beer. That's stop drinking so much to, beer. That's an easy way to do that. Yeah, just sparkling water will change everything. Go, you go to a club or a bar, just get a club soda. You know what I'm saying? Get a club soda. We, we give you health tips, too. And you would also be very intrigued to know your wallet will appreciate it. It sure in the fuck will. But listen, we're going back to this episode. On a scale of one to five, I'd have to give this episode a five. I love it. Yeah. I got to give it five. I love the way this story is building. I love the, the action, the drama, the heart behind it, everything, bro. What about you? I give it a five. I, I think it's a I think it's an amazing episode. I love the like Mario Kart Hot Wheels homage. I thought that, that shit was hilarious and super cool to have that car chase scene. Um I love that we get to see Ivy be a badass and she doesn't need plants to be one. She shot two niggas point blank. She choked <laughs> one nigga out. She stabbed another nigga and shot two point blank in the face. You know threw one through the gun at a nigga and broke his neck. Like, yo, get poison Ivy. She is a badass. Get poison Ivy a props, man. But we want to know what you thought about this episode in those comments below. So go ahead, like, subscribe, click on the notification bell. Make sure you find out when we're dropping more videos. We got to figure out what we're going to do after uh, Harley Quinn because there's no more DC Universe shows for a minute. So yeah, I mean, oh, how about that in the comments? Tell us what you would like us to review. I saw some people had mentioned because you do the Black Lightning review. Someone was suggesting maybe I'd do that with you. But I'm going to let you kind of do your thing because it's the season's almost over. Yeah. We've probably got a few episodes left. But what shows would you like to see us review together? If let you, us know. If you haven't checked out already over on our other YouTube channel and our other Facebook page, Blurds in the Hood. I was just about to talk about that. Please go over and subscribe there and check that shit out. Blurds in the Hood, our Facebook page. We have our new show we started doing. Our first episode, because it was the introductory episode, we went a little bit longer this time you're watching this on youtube i'm guaranteed because you don't put this on facebook no this right? is youtube so check our youtube page we have a the link will be in there the link will be in there so check that out and then also subscribe to us like, like us on facebook blurs in the hood that's the way you can find a collective of us we'll put the blurs in the hood episodes up there blurred and gold are there we'll talk about the super bowl eventually we figure out fuck that it works yeah but anyways follow me on twitter and instagram at mr j washington it's spelled right there I do not need to spell. Oh, yeah, I guess we don't have to do it anymore. There you go, right? Because <laughs> remember how before it was yeah. just in the beginning. Yeah. Now I just have it here total. Yeah, so just go ahead. Just follow us. Follow. These are all socials for me. This is Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, uh, YouTube, Letterbox, all that shit. You're on my YouTube, but Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, boom, all that. All yeah. right. Make sure you join the Patreon, the Patreon, the Supervillain Squad, Patreon.com slash. Da -da -da -da. Ain't you fancy? You get one little <laughs> software upgrade and you just fancy as fuck. Fancy and free. You fancy now. Uh, oh, you fancy. <laughs> this nigga completely changed the song I was going to do. I was going to do you fancy, huh? You fancy this nigga. Oh, yeah. There's that head that everything did. did, did, did There's that head that everything did. Oh, you fancy, huh? Oh, you fancy, huh? Oh, you fancy, huh? Oh, you fancy, huh? Oh, you fancy, huh?
the Mad Titan, Titan Podcast. Everywhere you get your uh, podcast uh, from, you uh, already uh, know. We'll holler, y'all. Go Cinderella. Go Cinderella. Go Orgasm brush lipstick. It can still go. 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 Showtime. Deuce. Holler, y'all later. Deuce. Deuce.